Welcome to Control Solutions. Our mission is to provide you with the best equipment and services when it comes to vaccine temperature monitoring. We have been in business for 23 years and our crew is dedicated to be there to serve you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to configure your data logger, use all the functionality on it, and download and review your data. Let's get started. Thank you for purchasing the VFC 5000 TP. Before you can start using this data logger, you will need to download the EasyLog software located on our website. Once you're on the home screen, you will go to the Software Downloads tab and scroll down to the 5000 TP software. You'll click to download. After running the installation, a window may appear requesting an administrator's username and password. If this happens, you will need to have your IT or help desk finish the installation with elevated privileges. Before you configure your data logger, be sure to check in with your state and see if they have any settings that they are recommending you to follow. For this example, we will follow CDC recommendations for a fridge in Fahrenheit. To begin using the VFC 5000 TP software, you're going to select where it says Setup and start the USB data logger. You're going to give your device a name, select your temperature scale, and your sample rate. Hit next. Make sure that the LCD screen is always on. Make sure that you have the logger to stop as recommended. Please set up the high and low alarm and check the alarm holds. This means that the data logger will continue to flash if it went into excursion even after it has returned to normal range. You will leave this screen as is and make sure that you have the data logger to start when the data logger button is pressed. Now that the data logger has been set up, you'll see that it is flashing PS for push button start. Once the probe has been connected to the 5000 TP, you will then hold down the button, see log, and the temperature will come up. Your 5000 TP will always show the current temperature on the home screen. To review your maximum and minimum, you will need to hold the button once. You will see an upward arrow that stands for maximum if you hit it a second time. You will see a downward arrow that stands for minimum. To clear the min and max, you will need to hold down the button. You will see CLR, which stands for clear, and you'll need to do that for both the maximum and minimum. If you have an alarm or you're just ready to download, take your device to the computer and plug it into the USB port. You're going to select where it says, stop the USB data logger and download data. When the file browser comes up, please give the data file a unique name. To prevent overwriting data, we recommend using today's date. Once the data has been saved, the graph will automatically show up on the screen. If you need the raw data, please select Data View. That concludes today's training video. For more information, please visit our website. We thank you for being a loyal customer and we look forward to serving you.